Welcome back everyone and today we are going to talk about the Knights of the Round Table Shoes. Something a little bit different and out there. Again, it's a metaphorical shoe type. If you remember me talking about my three hidden shoe types that we all have in our cupboards, uh, the mystery shoes. Most people don't know that we have them. Um, this was in the it's in the shoe psychology series. If you haven't um, perhaps listened to that, you might want to go back and uh, check that video out. It's in my Vicky Jane channel. Just look for it. The three hidden shoe types or the three mystery shoe types is the other title that sometimes it goes by and um, this is uh, related again to the internal family systems where we have different parts of us that are in conflict if you like and it's a bit of a negotiating process um, and you have to bring them around the knights of the round table so the reason i call them the round table shoes is if you think about um you know the knights of the round table and the king arthur story you know he would bring his tribe or his leadership together to go right you know this isn't working how is that you know working for you um what can you do how can we we've got this enemy on the front line and how do we come together to uh, take them on so that we can be victorious and win and this is one of the things that we often have in our lives um, with our internal family system it's not even just externally so you know if if there's a conflict or if there's an issue say in a work environment you know they the managers will try and bring the people together and have a conversation or hr might and they'll say look you know what's what is there something going on in your private life what's happening and they negotiate and they talk and, and they come to some kind of resolution so it's a similar sort of thing but not just with external people uh, sometimes you need your round table shoes for an external environmental um, uh, conversation and this is one of the biggest things that i find quite common is that it's just about communication half the time if we understood what's going on for that person then with that level of understanding comes um, a level of um, empathy um, and forgiveness and when we understand it better we can be less harsh um, in let go of our judgments um, or, or work to some kind of resolution if it didn't if it really was quite a clash so the round table um, shoes I'm talking about is actually more about um, having that Knights of the Round Table conversation or the round table conversation with your internal characters that you actually have. So with all the different shoes that we, we, we're picking out of our closets, which ones are, uh, you know, what ones work for us, what ones don't, um, what ones were we made to wear, um, what ones do I already have? And this is the three hidden shoe types as you know, we have a manager, we have a firefighter. And um, I go into that more in the other video. So if you want to go back and listen to that um, and then pick up on this one, fantastic. Otherwise do it the other way around. Don't know if it'll make as much sense if you do it that way, but um, just, you know, listen to it. It's not long um, or watch it, whichever you prefer. Um, and the idea here is that we we have our parts in ourselves actually around that table and giving advice. It's like, you know, as a manager, you might sit at the table and go, okay, look, firefighter, you're a little bit out of control. You went on a big binge and you started partying and drinking and doing your, maybe it was drugs or whatever it is that happened, or, you know, you had your sex kitten shoes on and you had a one night stand maybe, or, you know, you, you, um, you're overeating and, uh, you know, what is it that can be done to help you not behave in that way again? Um, because we care about you and that behavior is actually self-harming. It's not actually conducive to a happy, um, a happy, fulfilled life if you're constantly doing that to yourself. Um, once in a while, sometimes, yes, I understand that. But again, how do we prevent that from happening again? And then you might have it where it's uh, the managers over managing and you might go, OK, well, you know, thanks for the advice. But you know what? Starving myself, silly, you know, uh, so that I, I have to look good. A lot of ladies and girls have this where, you know, it's like they're so image conscious that it affects their self-esteem and the manager might kick in and go, right, 
you know you're not allowed to eat all of this stuff or you know that might go too extreme where it's like they starve and themselves might become anorexic or bulimic or um that you know where it's you know oh, i had just as brought up a memory of of a flatmate that i used to have in london who literally would eat like one egg for the whole day and her hormones were all over the place so her manager was out of control like she was an absolute beanstalk because she didn't it, how she looked was so important to her that she would starve herself to be able to fit into the smallest clothes so that she looked good for her partner who was um, a stuntsman and it really was one of those things where you know do you, well I don't know even if it, uh, she ate very little food you know whether it was half an egg or an egg or whatever but as a result you know it, that has a knock-on effect on your emotional on your mood so over managing where it's to the detriment it's now again causing harm it's too much how can we negotiate with that that part what can we do to have it where you know is that reasonable how can we have it where we're eating healthy and still can be losing the excess weight but not having it where we're losing too much weight where it's actually now going to start which is what happens it starts um um eating away at the muscles and drawing what it can from organs and that's why things start shutting down and they get you know water retention in and often you know people with eating disorders for example have really they look like quite swollen heads if they're really quite far gone and very skinny bodies um so all sorts of you know imbalances happen within the body so it's how can we just being conscious that we need to have that round table conversation so those are more extreme situations and you'd probably not probably you would definitely want to be going to a qualified practitioner internal family systems um practitioner um to be able to have that sort of negotiation process there'll be an exile which i also talk about in that um hidden shoe type which is the abandoned child or the the child that didn't get the needs met what are those needs that haven't been met identifying what they are and when you can have them around the table just being conscious aware of oh i've got these three different types of shoes i didn't even know i had them and oh um well now that i know that i have them what do i do with them so you know and and identifying are oh, am i out of control in each of one of those those characters and and the driver comes out of the exa of whatever the need is that's not being met so you can actually go right okay i've got my i physically envisage them sitting around the table and i know what the firefighter looks like and i, and I have them sitting there you know uh, with their drink or whatever and it's just like you know oh okay um i can see you you're like a tangible person how would i actually talk to you i can see the exile child um you know go what is it that you actually need sweetheart in order to not have to have your firefighter or your manager going out of control um I, you know i can see the manager um and what they look like and you know they're very stiff and um regimental and rules and regulations and and judging and when you start actually giving them personalities you know you, i even give them names you know you you will have your own names for these shoes bring them around the table and then in the center of the table i have um you know i think um king arthur you, you know in at least in the movies they have that um something in the middle a metal plate or whatever i actually think of it as a hole with a light and it connects to source energy and that's yourself that's your angel you've got your golden angel your source energy whatever it is that 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 protects you it, it channels in and is what feeds everybody that's in and around the knights of the round table the um discussion because um when we can draw from that source the answers will come and if you pull them into each of those different shoes then you'll be able to get answers that perhaps you wouldn't and you can do this in a meditation i've had it where we're just talking as if you as if they were physically there another thing that you can do is have it where you put pieces of paper on the floor 
and um, you know you could even have a little round table if you want to physically in the middle sometimes I do this with kids um, so that it's more tangible for them um, and you have the the label you know written on there the firefight my firefight tissues and then imagine putting them on and then talk as if you are that person and what's coming out and then write it down on a piece of paper um, and then step into the manager shoes and write down what's coming up for you in that situation and then I want you to step into the exile shoes and ha speak as if you are the little little child that you know I, I, I remember when x y and z happened to me now if it's something really traumatic don't go there don't do this do not do this on your own but if you're um you know it might be that you know i'm really i notice that i'm always say super critical of my partner it's always like you know i want him to do things this way that way it has to be done and it's like well why do i have to have it done that way why am i over managing why am i you know what i call micromanaging that person is it because i have such a need for control is it you know which is the eight is it because i have a need for um systems being in place which would mean that you're more like the enneagram um you know number five or six particularly six um is it that um i'm um, an over controlling number one enneagram which is more about the need for um perfection i like to have perfection um, so what is it and then and then go well why do I need to have that level of control why do I have to have that level of perfection why do I have to have fill in the blank and then um, you know go into your exile and go well when was it when was the first time I remember feeling out of control or being controlled when I didn't want to be controlled or you know when did I feel disempowered or when did I feel um, you know, that um, I don't have control because if I don't have um, control in my environment. What is it that, that, that brought you to that place? And just write down what came up for you. Now, if you're starting to get deep-seated issues coming up and you go, okay, it's a bit too much, just stop there, give grace and thanks and say, thank you so much. Every single time you have a roundtable discussion, you say thank you ever so much for all the conversation that I've had here. You're the mediator, so you sit at the head of the table and you go thank you so much to each of the parts. And I also ask you to your shoes that, you know, the firefighter doesn't step in while, while the, the manager's talking. Please, can you keep your shoes on and uh, keep quiet? Sometimes they use this in mediations where there's actually a, like a baton and you can only speak. <laughs> you know uh, when the buttons pass to you so please can you you know keep your thoughts and and um, actions to yourself and you know because we, we, we want to heal and resolve the situation and do the same on the other side of the table so it's a very physical and tangible kind of exercise that you can actually do now you don't have to do it you know you can get a table and chairs or you know actual shoes and pieces of paper with the names of the manager and the firefighter and the and the exile and the and the self the the source energy and and the mediator at the head of the table which is you you know the king arthur like you know what's your thoughts and how does this work um you can do it in your mind you know you can do it as meditation you can do it as um just a, a verbal conversation with someone you know like I'm, I'm struggling to work out where i am is this a firefighter thing is this a, a is this a manager issue is this a you know where's this all coming from and i'm just like you know i just want to let that go if i could just stop criticizing you know people maybe as an example how much fear would my life be um where i go huh oh well i'm not affected by it anymore so i'm fine so it's where we can actually you know have it where people can just be who they are and we're not triggered by them so if somebody's triggering you then you know it's like oh what caused that so um i find uh the round table shoes really very useful um if you kind of got lost there a bit um with regards to the enneagram this is also part of the shoe psychology series it's right at the beginning of my channel you might want to go back and have um, a listen to those or watch them um, these are great videos you know you can just plug in um, and listen to it or watch it while you're cooking, while you're driving, while you're exercising.
choosing while you're going for your walks while you're doing your chores i call it chore university where you might as well be learning something it's short it's quick it's really useful um, and really i would love to know if you um, i would really like you to actually do this exercise you know the easiest way to actually do it is actually to do the pieces of paper on the floor and even have some shoes that represent it and slip on those shoes take on that personality and speak as if you were that person that's actually the easiest to do um, because you're physically moving around you're using your body which is where you know a lot of the trauma gets locked up in that and when you can release that those those um, highly charged emotions or even low charged emotions um, in some cases um, it's easier when you're in the actual in in the moment but again, please do not do this for deep-seated issues, for serious things. Um, you know, you do want to get professional help so that um, we don't want you getting in there and then you're going, oh my gosh, I don't know how to get out. Definitely don't want that. So just use this kind of stuff for, um, you know, I'm feeling a bit, you know, I had a tiff with my partner or, uh, you know, I'm so angry with my boss or I had a, you know, argument with one of my friends, that kind of thing. It, that That's all good, you know, so you, uh, use your round table shoes for that. Um, and then we'll talk about observation shoes next. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please will you thumbs up, share if this has been useful for you um, and you think that somebody else might benefit. This is, I'm giving all this information away for free. Um, these are the things that I have found that have really helped shift a lot of my clients and um, hopefully that you will get some benefit. And if it's not you, if this is not an exercise or a tool that you want to have in your toolkit, no problem. You know, there'll be things that work for you, stuff that doesn't. But if um, it doesn't, just share it anyway, because even if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't mean that it won't work for somebody else. Um, you know, sometimes um, different modalities work for different people. And we're just, just letting them know, you know what, well, you know, try this technique, this technique, or this technique. There's three there, you can pick one, you know, and one of them will be an absolute winner and it'll work better for them than it did for you. And you'll find that the third technique worked better for you than the other other two. So it's, you know, each to our own. Uh, these are just options for you that you can have in your emotional toolkit for emotional mastery. Um, and also to help you, you know, identify your shoes um, on your path, going your way, and um you know that's what this is all about empowering you so i hope you found that useful namaste